Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I share with you how I create an apron, a customized apron. So, let's get started. I am first going to draw a square. This square will represent the background. It's going to be the color of the apron. The apron is black. Okay, I'm going to take the line from around my square. So here's my square. So now let's go to the library so that I can select the design I'm going to use. Okay, I like this design. Since it's an apron, it's actually a great design to use. now going to change the color of this design and so if you can tell there is a red border around the design I am going to remove that because when I heat press this on the actual apron it will not have that that line border around it so let's just remove that now I am going to ungroup my design the reason I'm ungrouping the, des the design is so I can open this space up a little wider and I can insert the name that I want in this area I'm using the arrow, the down arrow key to make the space a little wider. I think this looks really good so far. The black background with the gold design. And this is really a great wedding gift, a great birthday gift. Um, these come in, these come in really handy. So here I'm using the Mitchells as my custom wording. I'm going to make this gold as well. Oops. Let's see. Now I want to change the font. Let's put it in place so we can actually see what it looks like. That looks nice. I like that. That looks nice. And you can determine the size you want the wording to be. I 
I may make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, let's go through some of the font styles. I think I like, let's go with this one. And so what I want to do, I just want the wording a little bit thicker than what it is. So let's do an offset. As you can see, when I select the offset, it puts a border around the letters and so what I can do is select the distance from the actual wording and set that offset so here I'm going to just go with the 25 we're going to apply it I'm going to remove the gold portion of the letter and it leaves me with the offset that's the overage um, of the letters so the offset helps to make my letters a little larger and so that's what I'm going to go with let's group these together and now I'm going to fill the color in and I'm using the gold let's remove the line style from around it and as you see this is a little thicker a little bigger than these here but I like the style of the letters so we're going to go with that and look at that that looks good we can delete this because we no longer need it. Now I am going to make sure everything is centered. Nope. And then let's group everything together. There we go. So this is my design and this is what I am going to heat press onto the aprons. Okay, stay tuned. Now it's time to prepare the image to be cut out on the silhouette cameo. And so I'm going to remove my background. That's only for me. Um, you don't have to do that. That's just something I do because I like to have, if I'm working on a certain color, I like to see that background on the screen. So that's the only reason I do that. So let us go here to the setup panel. I'm going to select my grid settings because I wanna show my grid. Now I'm going to flip my design. I flip it horizontally. And then I just put it in place. Now the same area I place it here on the screen is where I also place the vinyl on my actual cutting mat. So it lines up. So I think this is a good position. Now it's ready to be cut. Here, we can delete this. I no longer need this. And I'm ready to cut it out. So then I'm going to send it to my Silhouette Cameo.
Now I am preparing the vinyl to be cut with the Silhouette Cameo machine. This is a gold metal vinyl that I picked up from Michaels. And I'm attaching it to my cutting mat. And I'm letting the Silhouette Cameo machine cut out my design. Now I am going to weed out the design. I always place it back on my cutting mat so that it stays in place as I'm weeding the design. Now this vinyl that I picked up at Michaels is one of the easiest vinyls I've used so far. It is very, very easy to weed. And on top of that, it looks really good. As you see, it was very easy to weed this. Like, I really like this. I should call Michaels and say, hey, this is a good vinyl. So far, it's the best that I have used. Make sure you guys comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this design. Let me know what you think about this gold vinyl. Um, it's popping. You should try to pick it up from Michaels and give it a try. I like it a lot. I just realized that I still needed to weed the H letter. So I'm just weeding that letter and then double checking the other letters. This design looks really good. I like this a lot. I may have to find something else to use with that gold vinyl. Now here is my blank apron. It's on my heat press machine and I am going to heat press it at 302 degrees and I will heat press it for 30 seconds. This vinyl requires a longing heat process so you can check it after 15 seconds but then I did another 15 seconds and it, it looks great. It turned out good. Here's a close-up. Look at that. That that looks good. You are now listening to the sounds of Moon Swing Music. Okay, this apron is ready to be used in somebody's kitchen. Here's the final results, and I just want to say thank you for watching.
to the sounds of mood swing music. Boogie.